of my heart, Lord. Open the eyes of my heart. I want to see you. I want Hey guys, Julian here. I got another video for you. Let me give God the glory. Father God, I give you all the glory for dreams, visions, words of knowledge. Thank you, Lord, for your word. Digging into it a little bit today. And uh, Father, I ask that you take this video to those that need to see it. And also, Lord, I just take the double-edged sword and slice out every evil tongue that's going to be flickering against the brethren and your church. And, and Father God, I take the double-edged sword and I slice off the head of the serpent right now and kick them back to the pit where they belong. In the precious name of Jesus Christ, amen. Guys, how's everyone doing? God bless you. God bless you. I had a really interesting uh, message given to me in, through a dream. And I want to share that with you real quick. Um, so here we go. Um, so I had this on 2-25, February 25th, a couple of days ago. So I saw a white plane on its belly because it had crashed in the woods. Outside the plane, I saw a line of young men bound and gagged, sitting in rocking chairs, wrapped in American and Canadian flags. Very interesting. That was the end of the dream. Um, now, I, I received a message. But before I go into the message and the interpretation of this dream, I, I also received three three. Um, three scriptures. So first one I want to share with you is Matthew 7, verses 21 through 23. Not everyone who says to me, Lord, Lord, shall enter the kingdom of heaven, but he who does the will of my Father in heaven. Many will say to me in that day, Lord, Lord, have we not prophesied in your name, cast out demons in your name, and done many wonders in your name? And then I will declare to them, I never knew you. Depart from me, and you who practice lawlessness. Also, Revelation chapter 12, verse 9. So the great dragon was cast out, that serpent of old, called the devil and Satan, who deceives the whole world. And he was cast to the earth, and his angels were cast out with him. And Luke chapter 10, verse 18. And he said to them, I saw Satan fall like lightning from heaven. All right, so... What brought this on is the night before I had this uh, this this given to me from the Lord. I asked the Lord about two two specific things. I said, Lord, what's going on with ministries out there? What, you know, is is certain ministries are they legitimate? Are they um, are they on the up and up? And secondly, I was asking about has Satan already come to Earth and his demonic forces? Okay, that's what I asked. Here's the interpretation. My son, this is prophetic insight. You have righteous, pure, and holy garments. You are moving to new heights, and this is your finished work. You are moving to new heights in a high-flying ministry, and in your heart, you are meditating spiritually and, and digesting God's word. You are moving to new heights, and you will have a potential clash of ministries, as there will be conflict and confrontation from those with fleshly works and those not intimate and not in fellowship, but they will be moving to new heights as well. My son, this is prophetic insight. These ministries will be wearing shame. The young generation is the man of the flesh. They are being held to ransom. They need a word of faith and their confession. And this will be your finished work. Then they will be spiritually retired. And there is a demonic presence approaching. While everyone is doing their business, continue to nurture the man who commands the household and are rulers of their home in the United States and Canada using God's word. So that's the end of that uh, interpretation. So let me just uh, kind of go over this real quick. So the Lord is saying that we're going to be a high flying ministry. And boy, let me tell you what, we've just recently received a lot of information uh, from the Lord just the last couple of days about what some of that looks like within a, a very short time. So that means that, guys, that means that the escalation of judgment is on, is at the door. It's at the door. Now, what's he saying here about the clash of ministries as there will be conflict and confrontation and those not intimate and not in fellowship, but they will be moving to new heights anyway. What is he saying there? He's saying that, just like Jesus said, many of you... Uh, 
many will say to me in that day, Lord, Lord, we have, have we not prophesied in your name, cast out demons in your name, and done many wonders in your name? Guys, you have to, you know, you have to be in um, in intimacy with Jesus. And how do you get there? You get there by praying every day, reading God's word, worshiping every day, and in holy communion with Jesus, and also fasting weekly. That's how you get there. That's how you get to, to the intimacy. And let me tell you something. Even though you're doing those things, it's still a very narrow path. Very narrow. Now, the other thing I prayed for is, Lord, what's going on with Satan? Is he on earth yet? And this is what he said. These ministries will be spiritually retired. And there's a demonic presence approaching. So what he's saying is these people that they were marked for ministry, but they've went, they've been deceived. They've went down the wrong path. Okay. And now they're going to be spiritually retired. And, and Satan, the demonic presence that he's talking about, is approaching. And now when, when, when the, I saw that, I saw, um, I saw like a big rock or a planet approaching. That's what I saw. So, Hey guys, um, God bless you. Keep pressing in. And this is Julian out.